Hello, Randy, K7AGE. Back uh, when I was a little boy uh, growing up, I spent many hours playing with my Heathkit electronic workshop. You know, I had uh, the parts on there with all those little spring things, and you'd lift up on the spring and slip a wire in there and follow the instructions in the book, and, you know, I had all sorts of different electronic projects. So, But nowadays, I think that's kind of been replaced maybe with the Arduino uh, with a breadboard and a handful of parts. This is a great little system for experimenters to play around with electronics and also software. This is an Arduino Uno R3 microcontroller module. This is pretty much the standard microcontroller. If you go to the Wikipedia page, you can learn all about the history of, of the Arduino. Uh, the name comes from a bar where the developers, I guess, used to hang out. Um, this project's been... Uh, in process for well over 10 years. Um, this board is actually made in Italy and uh, sourced by the Arduino.cc uh, group. And it's kind of recommended that you at least buy some of your Arduino components uh, from the uh, through the official channels because that helps support the whole development effort for these little modules. This is an open source which means the schematic, the parts list, everything is in the public domain. So you can buy the Arduino boards from many places. Adafruit sells their version of the official Uno board. Uh, SparkFun is another company that basically builds their own Uno board uh, copies from all the direct documentation. Uh, you can go on to Amazon and you can find boards. Now you're starting to see them from other places that... Uh, uh, that are some at a lower cost. And if you go to eBay and search for Arduino Uno, you can find all sorts of boards. And most of these are, uh, I believe, are pretty compatible. Um, there may be some slight differences quite often with the serial driver that you may need um, to go from the computer in order to uh, program the board. But uh, I, th I think most people have pretty good luck buying the clones. So several years ago, I bought this Velos um, Arduino electronic workshop kit using the old Heath kit term and uh, it, it came with a Arduino Uno board a breadboard and a little plastic frame that those are mounted to uh, assortment of jumper wires to go between the header pins on the uh, Arduino board um, various things like here I've been playing with a temperature sensor uh, chip so this is the book that came with the starter kit and um, talks about the revolution, the open source, you know, the community that's around the whole Arduino, some of the projects that you may be interested in building, how to access the internet to get the IDE, the integrated development environment, to do your uh, software programming. And this is where it uploads uh, software to the board. It also has a window that you can use the serial uh, communications on the Arduino to send data back to a window and how to set up the IDE to get that to work and hello world is one of the first programs oh and this uh, kind of shows you all the bits and pieces that came in the kit you know jumper wires resistors potentiometer photo resistor a temperature sensor a motor selection of LEDs a diode a beeper some transistors a servo so you got a lot of little things you can play with and this book takes you through examples of using all of those the um, first program that everybody does is to blink an LED so this gets you um, able to use the IDE you have it loaded you're able to to load in a software program or a sketch and then upload it to the module and see the LED blink and then you can uh, vary the parameters with the delay and such playing with the temperature sensor so this is that little transistor looking thing and it takes you through how to hook it up so a picture of the breadboard and where the wires go and to the pins on the board um, open up the the sample sketch in the IDE and when you run it you can look on the serial monitor on the computer and it shows you the voltage from the uh, sensor in degrees C and F and uh, so that's how I kind of got started so the Arduino.cc page website has a lot of documentation about the Arduino processor. So this page offers tutorials 
that are built into the IDE, as well as examples from the libraries. <clears throat> and these are two important things here. Um, C is the language that's used to program the Arduino. And I took a C course about 30 years ago. I don't know much about it. I'm not a software guy. But by using the examples, you can see how it's written, what some of the syntax is. Uh, you can get in there and vary things and you know see the results on the board running. And that's how you kind of kind of learn things. Um, the libraries are very important because when you buy the little extra sensor modules, and that's the, the whole key thing about the Arduino is all this third party and all these extra pieces, temperature sensors, displays, and just goes on and on. There's hundreds of different, different little pieces of hardware for sensors that you can buy and plug into here. But what's important is that most of those come with a library. So that means all the low-level code to make that work is done for you. So you just call it from a higher-level point of view. So very important. And this is how you, you start learning. Uh, there's a page here that has all the reference material for all the, the commands, the variable types, the functions that are in the Arduino. And there's no end to the number of books that are available for the Arduino. This is Arduino for Ham Radio, Glenn Popeil, KW5GP, uh, published by the ARRL. And uh, in here, uh, Glenn takes you through a, a lot of the basics, the, you know, the different boards and the hardware and the shields and um, things like that. And, uh, uh, you know, the various different displays that are available. So a lot of the background information, uh, the sensor shields. The shields are the little, little boards. Uh, um, some introductory stuff on the software how to set up your development station. Here he has his breadboard and his boards, everything mounted to a hunk of wood because he develops a lot of projects. And, you know, he's got uh, lots of things. You know, the first one here is a random random code practice generator with a display. And he has uh, many projects. Look at the table of contents here. Uh, let's see the projects. So he has a random code practice, a CW beacon, a fan controller, digital compass, weather station, RF probe, uh, on-air indicator, talking SWR meter. So he has lots of projects in his book. Also, he hopes to have volume two of this out at the Dayton 2017 Hamfest. So look for the follow-on book. So another book I bought is Arduino Projects for Amateur Radio by Dr. Jack Purdom. W-8-T-E-E, -E, and Dennis Kidder, uh, W-6-D-Q. Um, I ran into uh, Jack on the BidX40 Google I.O. forum. So he's one of the big software supporters for our, uh, for the BidX40. So his book is, uh, Jack has uh, he, um, quite a background. He's uh, had some software companies. He's taught software at Purdue for, I don't know, close to 30 years. So um, it's very good, very detailed, very organized, uh, and also down to earth. So I like a lot of what's in here. And he has a lot of projects too, you know. And one of the first things he does is, is get a display working. So that's always handy. Um, yeah, LCD shield project. So he gets a display working. And um, there's a lot of good stuff in this book too. And here he's showing how to build things and how the display is going to mount and, and stuff like that. Hello world sketch to get some things up on the display. So a lot of interesting projects in here. You probably won't build the projects or all the projects in either one of these two books, but it's good to go through and get some ideas how it is put together and to look at the software to see what's there. So here's another book I bought from Jack. And this is Beginning C for Arduino, second edition. Make sure you get the second if you buy this. It's Learning C Programming for the Arduino. And uh, it's, all, it's basically a C reference manual aimed towards the Arduino because the Arduino doesn't support everything that's in the, in the C programming language. But um, um, really good reference book for all the software aspects for the Arduino. So... Um, I've been working my way through through this book as well. All right, so I'm not going to show you every step here how to get going. There's a lot of good videos out on YouTube. I did a search here on Arduino tutorial and look at 
It's over 2.8 million uh, results. And as you scroll down through here, the one I've been following quite a bit on is Paul Mahorter's um, YouTube channel. Uh, Paul is a high school teacher, and he has all these lessons about the Arduino, and also Raspberry Pi and some other things. And I've spent a lot of time watching a lot of these. So these are kind of some of the ones that I recommend that you take and take a look Hello, at. Guys. Hello, guys. I am Paul McWhorter from TopTechBoy.com. And what I will be doing today is I will be giving you your first introduction to the Arduino microcontroller. And here is Paul's toptechboy.com website that goes along with the videos where all, all of his lessons are. And they're all listed here. Uh, then you can click on the lessons number and it takes you to the page. And there's additional information that goes along with the video and uh, sample code and such. So uh, well worth uh, looking at the web pages as you watch the videos here. So I just want to let you know that Paul's lessons are aimed towards his high school students, but I'm sure there's you know, hundreds or thousands of other people uh, watching and learning from these as well. They're all about a half hour long, so get yourself a cup of coffee and sit back and follow along, and uh, he'll guide you down the path here to get going with your Arduino. So in my next video, I'll take a look at my analog thermometer project uses a couple aspects of the UNO board, one being the analog to digital converter to measure the uh, temperature voltage coming out of the temperature sensor, does a little bit of calculations, and then using the PWM or the pulse width modulation output to drive the milliamp meter, and I scale the temperature measurement so that it scales between zero and one milliamps on the meter. So it comes up and it'll display the temperature and then it stays there for five seconds. And then I ramp up and down and back up to the temperature. And I also have interfaced this um, four line display to show me some of the values within the software. So if you're interested in following along with my Arduino projects, you're gonna have to get yourself a Uno board or maybe a little starter kit with a breadboard and some parts. Download the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment from the Arduino.cc webpage and then fire up the Blink program and see if you can get the software to compile and load and download to the uh, uh, to the Arduino Uno board and see if you can get the LED to blink. Now the boards do have an LED on there uh, if you don't want to hook up an external LED, but play around, change the delays, you know, see if you can make it send out SOS. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at K7AGE or on Google Plus at plus K7AGE. And please share my video with your, with your friends through Facebook, Twitter, or what other social media that you use. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. This is Randy, K7AGE.